Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for uh, propane, which is C3H8. So here we go. So propane has a C3H8, that's the chemical formula for propane, and that's going to give us uh, three of four valence electrons for each carbon, plus eight times one valence electron for each hydrogen, and the total number of electrons in that case will then be um, 20 valence electrons. Okay. Now because this has multiple centers, because there's three carbons, we can't use the trick that I typically use by subtracting out the largest multiple of 8 from the 20. So let's just go ahead and just start to draw it out. Um, we know that the hydrogens cannot be center atoms because they can only bond once, so the, all the carbons must be in the center. So we can go ahead and just draw the three carbons, C, 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 okay? And now we have eight, eight hydrogens to surround this with. So we can go ahead and draw the hydrogens, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's just go ahead and connect everything with a single bond and then we'll see where that gets us. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten bonds, and with ten bonds, each bond has two electrons, so that's gonna give us twenty valence electrons, which is the total number that we that we brought in. So this uses up all of the electrons appropriately. So and if you look, each hydrogen has two electrons with a bond, and each carbon has four bonds. So that means that each carbon then has its full octet. So this should be the right structure. So let's go ahead and check the formal charges just to make sure that this, this looks to be correct. So the formal charge is on carbon. And, and uh, remember, formal charge is the number of valence brought in, which is four for each carbon, minus the number of bonds, one, two, three, four on this one, one, two, three, four on this one, and one, two, three, four on this one. So each of them have four bonds minus the number of non-bonding electrons on the carbon, which is zero, because there's only bonds, no electrons, no lone electrons. So it's going to give us a formal charge of zero, which is what, what we're looking for. Now we can check the formal charge on the hydrogen. And notice that each hydrogen is the same setup, one bond, and, and that's it. So the, the formal charge should be the same on each one. So number of valence brought in is one, minus number of bonds is one, minus number of non-bonding electrons, zero, and that's also zero. So that is definitely what we're looking for, and this is going to be the, in a, a correct Lewis dot structure for C3H8, which is propane. Now, when you get into more organic compounds like this one, and then more that have uh, more carbons and uh, more hydrogens, you're going to be able to do what's called a ring structure or a chain structure. Now notice that these three carbons are all in a chain, one after the other but it doesn't loop back around and form a ring. Now some of these can have ring structures, some of them can have chain structures. This is just one example of a, a chain structure for propane, C3H8, but there might be more structures that could use a ring structure, which, is, which would look like C, C, C like this, and then you could have your, your hydrogens coming off in that, in that form. But in this, this example, we're just gonna deal with this uh, this uh, chain structure right here, and uh, this is going to be nonpolar because of the the hydrogens all cancel each other out, and the since the carbons are all in the center, and they and they will also cancel each other out. So then the dipole moment will be zero overall. And uh, if you want to look at the hybrid for each, the hybrid orbitals for each carbon, each one has four bonding sites. So it's going to be sp3 hybrid. And um, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or send me a message. If you have any specific compounds you want to see, see done in the video, uh, send me a message about those too. And uh, thanks for watching.